Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy, the one and the only Ginger Wonder Patio, the friendly neighborhood redhead from a town down under. What's going on? You already know my name. I'm Patio. You already know what today is. It's douchebag day. However, very special circumstances today, this being another day after a stupid fucking tragedy, I was going to go on a rant. And I was gonna tell you that if you ever kill someone in the name of a religion, a race, a creed, a code, whatever the fucking thing may be, that you're the biggest douchebag ever, but douchebag isn't even a good enough word for you. Douchebags are respectable in comparison to you. We're not even gonna touch those fucking filth nuggets. I hate them all, you hate them all. You already know that, that doesn't matter. So, we've got two very special douchebags today. All right, the first came out of last night. And because your boy is seething with anger and vitriol, we need to spew our hate at something productive. So let's tell people what not to fucking do. Hey guys, if there's ever a fucking tragedy, don't you dare try to use that to enhance yourself. For instance, don't go on social media. Don't use the hashtags that are being used as national and worldwide symbols of mourning to try and enhance your brand. Don't hashtag niece and then it's a fucking selfie of you. Don't fucking do that shit because that is the biggest cockbag douchebag fuck face move of all time. I don't want to see your bikini clad ass just sweep Harry. That is the most despicable thing I can fucking think of that isn't being a fucking terrorist. You're a piece of shit. You're a fucking douchebag. Today, we've got a lot of hate in our hearts. Send it somewhere good. Let's do some good with our hate. Now, let's not do anything bad with our hate. We've all got hate, baby. So this week, I've got a real fucking good one. I dug down deep. What do you fucking hate, man? It grinds your gears. What gets you going? And you know what it is? It's fucking people who use the handicap spot who aren't fucking handicapped. You're the biggest piece of shit in the world. I can't fucking stand you. I don't even give a fuck if you've got the handicap placard. That doesn't mean shit to me. If I watch you hop out of your fucking Ford F-150 down onto the ground after it's lifted two feet, then I think you're a piece of shit. You're obviously not fucking handicapped. Don't take the fucking blue spot. Leave the blue spot to the person pulling up in a fucking conversion van. They're the people who need the fucking spot. There's people in wheelchairs, there's people on crutches, there's people who only have fucking days and weeks to live and you're taking their fucking spot. You need to park a little further away anyway. You're a little fucking obese and that's not being handicapped, that's being a lazy piece of shit. You're a fucking douchebag. I can't fucking stand you. Stop taking people's parking spots. That is outrageous. What kind of fucking confidence and gall and ball sack do you have that you think you're above everyone else? Your time is way more valuable. No, it's fucking not. Just fucking park immediately. Park in the first fucking spot you find and then trot your ass into whatever fucking building you're going to. Don't take the fucking handicap spot. That's for handicapped people. I hate you. You're the fucking worst. Absolute piece of shit douchebag. Fucking hang your placard. Go ahead. That doesn't mean shit to me. I see you doing a hop, skip, and a jump, a trot into the fucking place. Oh, that might be even worse than a fucking douchebag lawyer pulling up in a Ferrari stealing the handicap spot. If you're faking the placard, if you're a using that fucking privilege that someone gave to you, then you're a fucking evil scumbag fuckhead. Oh, see guys, it feels really good to let that out. Let the vitriol spill. And now let's have a good fucking Friday. Very special shout out to anyone listening in France. I know I've checked on you on SoundCloud. We do have people over there. We are fucking with you in solidarity. There's nothing we can say or do to help you in this time, but hopefully we bring you some fucking laughs along the way. Ah, try and make the world a better place, guys. There's always hope.